Hello and welcome to this tutorial on getting started with Reliance Weibull. In this tutorial, we'll cover adding a dataset to our analysis, performing a best fit analysis, and calculating results. We will assume that you have viewed our Reliance Weibull Getting Started Overview tutorial prior to viewing this video. If not, we suggest reviewing it, especially if you are new to Reliance Weibull. To start, we are signed into Reliance and viewing the welcome dialog. If you do not have this open, click the Help drop-down on the top right of your screen and click Welcome to Reliance. In the Welcome dialog, make sure that Weibull is selected using the module selectors on the left. We will be using our drone example in this tutorial, so we click Open Example Analysis. If you have already opened and modified the drone example analysis, you can easily remove all of your changes and return to the example analysis in its as supplied state by clicking Revert Example in the sidebar, which is highlighted in the message that Reliance is now showing. This is not necessary for now, so I'll click Got It to clear the message. We are also reminded that when we make any changes to a Weibull dataset, we must calculate again in order to save changes, recalculate results, and generate a new plot. I'll click Got It once again to clear the message. Now let's begin by adding a new data set to this analysis. Here in the data sets pane, we click Insert. The Insert Data Set dialog appears. Let's modify the name slightly to My Data Set. and click Insert to add the new dataset. With the dataset selected, we can customize our data points pane if needed using the dataset properties. For this example, we will enter a dataset of recorded failure times. So the dataset's pane with the available failure time field is just right. Now we could manually enter the failure time for each data point. We could also import failure time data using the import option on the sidebar. In this case, however, we will generate some random data points. To do so, we we'll click the random data button in the toolbar. The generate random data points dialog appears. Note this feature is available for some quick and easy testing if you don't have real failure data available. It is not intended to be used for any other purpose. For the number of data points, let's enter 25. We can leave the default values of 1.5 for beta and 10 for eta. And to generate the random data set, we click Generate. Observe how the data points table is populated with 25 failure times. Next, let's complete some Weibull analysis on this set of data. We'll start by performing a best fit analysis to see which distribution best fits the data. By default, the Weibull 2 parameter distribution had been selected. To start our best fit analysis, we click Best Fit in the toolbar. The Best Fit Distribution dialog appears. We can select which distributions we want to consider when calculating the best fit. For this example, we should make sure that all distributions are selected. And to perform the best fit analysis, we click Calculate. The best fit distribution dialog appears with a distribution recommendation and the results of the best fit analysis. If your distribution selection is already set to the recommended distribution, no change is recommended. However, if your selected distribution does not match the recommended best fit distribution, you can click the Available Change button to change it if needed. You can also expand any of the distributions for more details by clicking the small caret to the left of the distribution name. When expanded, you can also change to the selected distribution if you prefer. Now that we've completed our best fit analysis and in this case confirmed our distribution, we can go ahead and close the best fit distribution window. Since we have the data points collected and entered and our best fit distribution selected, next we may want to see our data in a graphical form 
and also see some quantitative results. We can start by clicking to plot in the rightmost part of the toolbar. Because we have not yet performed a Weibull calculation, we see that the Weibull plot is not yet available. Also notice there are no results in the results section of the properties pane. To update our results and see the Weibull plot, we just need to calculate. To do so, we click the Calculate button on the toolbar. Note that as the Weibull calculation is being performed, a spinner will appear in the Calculate toolbar button to let us know a calculation is ongoing. And once completed, a green pop-up message will appear in the lower right of our display to indicate the calculation is finished. The new Weibull plot will appear, and the results will be shown in the Properties pane, and also on the Plot legend. If you would like, you can view different plot types, add confidence bounds, change the distribution or other calculation parameters, and add or analyze any additional data points. Just remember that any time you make a modification, click the Calculate button to update the analysis and view the updated plot and results. This concludes this Getting Started with Reliance Weibull tutorial with our focus on adding and analyzing Weibull data. Thanks for watching. Please visit our website or contact us with any questions or to obtain pricing and purchasing information.